Cabinets. Dave. Get out of here. What are you doing? Are you hot wiring your truck? No. Are you stealing it? Somebody, somebody needs content. Somebody needs content. I do. Yeah. Oh, don't even get me started. I have too much content, Dave. No, we just we just got to start it out with it. What are you doing over here? Well, you know how uh, you know you know how my uh, grandma's Lexus. You can surf the internet while you're driving. Yeah, but this thing you have to have the parking brake on to do anything with. Okay. Like I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay, but so what is this? This is your parking brake, yeah? Yeah. So this is uh, this is my parking brake. So you just go boop boop because it just has to. So what you used to do before was you just grounded the parking brake, mm -hmm. but then they're like, oh, people are grounding it, the parking brake. So it has to have a switch. So it has to be switched, but then like, even if you have it wired to the parking brake, you're chilling in a parking lot, you'd have to like depress the parking brake and then reapply it to get the, everything to work. This thing like literally doesn't do anything unless the parking brake's applied. You, like, you could just listen to the stereo. Yeah, so Dave got himself a Black Friday deal on a uh, on some Alpine thing for his truck so he could have the tunes in it. But uh, yeah, so today's video, I guess, is gonna be, sorry about the wind. We got, we got tons of stuff to do at the shop. I don't even know where to start. I got videos that are like two weeks behind and I gotta catch up on that. But look at this, the shop is just an absolute mess. So I've been getting things, things have been arriving, things have been getting shipped. So uh, I got some cabinets. So you can see right here, these are some uh, some new age products things. And uh, essentially what this is, is this is a 16 piece set. And then I, I bought two other pieces to basically make it an 18 piece set. And uh, and I guess I'll kind of show you guys what that looks like. Um, we got Supras, SC, poor man Supras in here, Jay-Z's, I mean, just stuff out. I don't even know. And then uh, Jamie's dad came, came over here. He's using the vice, he's editing, uh, a bike frame trying to get the trying to get the the seat post out of it because he sells things on ebay but uh yeah so they've got some some wheels for his vr4 and some tires i'm still trying to figure out the whole uh boost issue with uh with supra dave's car is basically doing the same thing so we're both just tearing apart wiring and stuff on here but uh yeah so this is one of the cabinets right here it's got this little racing stripe on it that you could kind of move and you could take it off and you could paint it. Um, and the, the cabinets pretty much come pre-assembled. And uh, so you don't have to put a bunch of stuff together. All you have to do is put in the, the deals. And these two cabinets came inside this cabinet. So you can see that's kind of what it looks like. So essentially the plan, the, the reasoning behind this is, you know, when I was, uh, when I was down in Florida, I really, really liked Adam's cabinets. And then, so over here by the Supra, if you guys are wondering why I haven't been working on the Supra, I've basically taken December off of this thing just to kind of like relax and not be so stressed out about the paint and stuff, you know, and, and spend time with the family instead of being down here, you know, messing with this thing. But, so over here, oh, and also to kind of try and clean up the shop. But, uh, so I have this wooden uh, paint bench, which isn't, I guess, the best thing for paint because when I'm like, spraying stuff then it, it it like soaks up and then you got like this wooden like like paint thinner infused thing sitting over here and uh, i just don't think that's probably the best the best thing so uh, i have this cabinet but it, for kind of paint and uh, i have some stuff in here but it kind of sucks because it's not actually like a cabinet so i have like some shelves in here and it, it's just not it's not the best paint cabinet and then i have these shelves over here with just all this random paint so I'd like to put away a lot of this stuff, kind of organize it a lot more, and uh, essentially make this whole area a lot better. So I'm gonna kind of show you what uh, what the plan is. It's right here on my phone. You can see, so this, this is basically what all this stuff is on the palette. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead and break that down into two sections. So it's a two nine piece sets, and that's why I bought these additional cabinets. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested in these things, I'll put the link in the description. Um, I kind of did like some Black Friday stuff to get them a little bit, uh, a little bit cheaper and stuff. But uh, yeah, essentially, I have this, and then I'm gonna put one of these over here, and then one of them over there, and kind of, kind of see how I like it. So I don't know. We gotta play musical cars because everything was kind of delivered here, and uh, you know we just kind of stuffed it over here just to get it out of the way, and then now everything's in the way.
guys. So uh, everything with the install is going going pretty smooth. So, uh, so yeah, David's basically we're just kind of bolting all the stuff together. You can see there's little slots, little nuts and bolts, and then basically these uh, these cabinets right here. They kind of bolt to the side as well, so you could kind of bolt them all the way through. Um, so I have the other two that are going to go across the top, and then this stuff right here, I could kind of screw to that a little bit, and that'll kind of give it a little bit more uh, more stability. Kind of same thing with these. I could get I could get some, some self tappers into that, so it's kind of attached to the wall. But uh, yeah, they're all pretty much self leveling. The other thing is it has this. Uh, Stainless steel worktop and that's basically just kind of cover over a piece of particle board um, But yeah, so pretty decent just kind of trying to level the stuff uh, as we go along make sure it's super super level and smooth I guess to do this uh, This thing you basically just kind of drill little holes and then there's some uh, some screws that'll hold it actually officially to the thing But before we officially tighten this one all the way down. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and put the top on it and then put the, the upper cabinets on it as well. Alright guys, so uh, I got this thing all bolted together and uh, and I screwed it to the wall, finally. Um, let's see, I got some self tappers up there. And basically, I uh, initially, because we have like this metal stuff kind of separating the, the buildings, but it actually kind of has a decent amount of rigidity. But uh, they're basically bolted all the way across and then all the way across the bottom and then bolted up through that thing. I did have a little bit of an issue with this door at first. Um, you can see it was kind of rubbing right there and then I kind of put like a little spacer in there and then kind of tied that back a little bit further and left this out. Um, that was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, the other thing, I went ahead and slid this thing all the way to the back because I figured I didn't want stuff kind of falling off the back. But uh, yeah, so this is essentially going to be kind of my paint mixing station. As you can tell, this is, uh, this is kind of what I had before which is just this whole randomness, everything's all open and exposed and you could see everything. Um, you know, it's not really organized and it's kind of a pain in the butt because you just kind of end up piling stuff on top of itself. You know, as you can see right here, as, and all these random boxes and everything kind of lingering around here. I don't know, it's, it's crazy. I, I still need to figure out what I'm doing exactly with this shelf. I need to get rid of a lot of the random paint that I have just because most of it I'm never going to use. Um, just keep like the, you know, stuff that's over half half of like the the jar full filled up or whatever but uh yeah so i should be able to put a decent amount of uh of the paint and stuff in these cabinets um I, I think i might actually want to get like another one or two of these to put over here and maybe put a little bit more paint in them um one of the things i did like about these are the new age product ones uh you could get them on amazon you could also get them on like sam's club pretty much you could almost get them anywhere online like lowe's home depot all those places sell them um but yeah so uh the pretty much the, most of the time the the price of the cabinet does include shipping these are i think the 30 inch wide ones um i really want some of the 48 inch wide ones because they're like huge basically it would come to like all the way like right there um i think that would be really good for paint as well but uh, those ones are a little bit more expensive and it, it seemed like the best way to save money on one of these kits was to do the so to give you an idea, this this exact setup, they have it as a kit, like a nine-piece kit, and it's like twelve hundred and fifty bucks. Um, and if you do buy it off like Sam's or something, you do pay tax on that. Uh, the the other thing is, I basically bought the sixteen-piece, which was it was like nineteen hundred dollars free shipping, and then I just purchased one of these and one of those, so that way I could fill in that center, um, and I'll kind of show you why. So you can see right here, this is the 16 piece kit and it looks like it it actually has the 48 inch ones on it, but it doesn't advertise actually what size they are. So I, I knew they were gonna be the smaller ones. But yeah, so you can see right there, that's basically all the pieces, but it's missing two in the center. 
and this is what I wanted so I went ahead and I just basically purchased the you know the center one separate and I ended up saving I think it was almost 200 bucks like that because it would have been like 2500 and I think I'd have got them for like 23 for everything which is I don't know if you guys have, have ever I guess let, let me get an example so I found these really really nice ones at uh, at SEMA and I have the little brochure in my car so let me go grab that so yeah these are pretty much the best bang in the for the buck on the market for cabinets not necessarily specifically quality wise uh, so I found this company out at SEMA this year and I actually talked to them a little bit but uh, you could look you could tell these ones they are super super high quality you know you could tell basically by that indie car right there and you know that that type of stuff this is super high quality stuff and you could kind of see the price range right here so for basically a 10 foot combo which is pretty much that which is, I don't know, I would say, I don't know, how many feet do you think this is? It was 132 inches, so a little over 10 feet, um, like 11 feet, 12 feet. So essentially for this, a similar thing, I basically have 1,200 bucks in this, 1,100 and some bucks in this, whereas you could see that is that. But these are also a lot more high quality. So I actually did reach out to this New Age Products and uh, to see if they would be willing to like sponsor like a set of these for the channel. And uh, it, you know, it's just one of those like huge corporate things where like nobody knew who to talk to and I couldn't figure out who I wanted, like who I actually needed to talk to. And at the end of the day, I just wanted cabinets. So uh, I just bought them. But just to let you guys know that, you know, they are not the most like, like the highest quality. Um, one of the things I didn't, really like is like these hinges right there those are actually like self-tapping screws so I actually kind of loosened that hinge a little bit to kind of adjust it over and you could just like you, you had to be really really delicate because I actually like twisted one and you could just feel it kind of like just oh, kind of break free um, the other cool thing about these ones they do have like a little light that you could put underneath them so you could put like three lights under there which is one of the things that I'm gonna do just put an LED one from Home Depot yeah, but they make ones that like actually fit in there, or I could get ones from Home Depot and figure out something myself. But uh, the Home Depot ones have little things in them. Really? But yeah. So I think it'll be nice because I could put in like all my paint, my like my paint gun cleaning kits and everything like right here. Like let's say I could just put like my paint guns like right here, just you know, so they're nice and super clean and ready to go, and uh, and I don't have to worry about basically putting them on top of each other, and uh, you know this cabinet right here. This isn't necessarily a uh, like a paint gun cabinet because I just put my sh my own shelves in there and it was like a, a super big pain in the butt or it is because I have like this wire rack and everything falls through it and I don't know it's just a big pain so I've uh, I've been wanting cabinets like this especially you know pretty much like I said as soon as I went to Adams I was like yep I need this but uh, so I have enough of this to basically duplicate the same exact setup over here somewhere so I have those other ones right there as well as this thing oh one of the other things I did want to mention is uh, these are the cabinets I got separate and you could see in shipping they got a little damaged right there so I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to them before I kind of put together that other set and see if they'll send me another one of those um, actually I could probably put it together because I don't need the one in the center right away but uh, yeah so the plan is get rid of this thing get rid of uh, of that thing and this will be my nice like pretty bodywork area and then over there will be my nice like pretty working area and the nice thing about that too is that I could uh, I actually got two of those so it'll be two of the drawers in one of the cabinets versus over here it's two of the cabinets in one of the drawers um, but it'll be nice because I could like throw grinders and, and all that stuff just kind of put them away out of out of sight out of mind and uh, you know they'll have designated spots so that way, you know, I can't, I can't bark at David all the time. Where are you gonna bark? No, I was gonna go. Bark, bark, bark. He's gonna act like a chicken, I guess. But uh, yeah, then I, then I can't be mad at David for not putting stuff back because it will actually have like a designated spot. Yeah, except you're always mad at me, but you don't put anything back. I do sometimes. You're just like, where's the, where's the sockets? Where's the impact? And then you can walk over to Supra. It's like all like laid out on the car. Or it's like laying over here because we're taking mirrors and stuff apart. But anyhow, so I guess uh, I guess now is the process of putting all this stuff back in it and organizing it a bit. It's not how it So David ended up getting his uh, 
His little radio to work. All right, let's check out this CarPlay deal. But I had to like put this stupid switch in so I could fool it. That's so stupid. Yeah. How are you supposed to? Like, how are you supposed dumb. to even use it? Like, it's supposed to be hands-free. Like, without that switch, you'd have to have the e-brake depressed. That's dumb. Yeah, how are you gonna do? Should we, should we go through your messages? I'll fuck off, get out of my messages. Would you like to hear your un no. Yeah, let's check it out. Get out of there, get out. What do you want Quit. to say? Here, no, let, here, let's, let's. Shit. That's Were you talking crap to me or what? No. Should we, should we call them numbers on there? Oh yeah, the Russians or what? Thumbprint radio, yeah, let's hit it. D Antward. Look, well, you listen to D Antward? Yeah, why not? Jeez. Do you monetize your stuff or what? Yeah, let's get it. Oh, I have it turned out. Whoops. That means all of your favorites from all of your stations. Oh, David, you all don't have Pandora place. Plus? Enjoy. Oh. Is it sunk to your phone right now? Yeah. Our destinations. How you doing? Not bad. No, that's tight. Oh, well, now they know where the shop's at. <laughs> oh, dick. <laughs> Look at the podcast. Oh, yeah, it has a GPS thing right there. What? Oh, so you just put it over there? Yeah. And I need to mount the microphone, little thingy. Like... Hmm, yeah, not bad. Yeah, I like that. Tell me your other one. No, I'll. All right, guys, so I got uh, some of the stuff cleaned off and, uh, and stuffed in here. See, a little bit of paint crap in there. Paint guns, all that stuff. Um, yeah, you guys pretty much get the get the gist of it. Random tools and stuff here and there. And uh, definitely a lot more organized. Got kind of my all my sandpaper right there, my buff and stuff, plastic dip. But yeah, so then I went to uh, I went to Walmart, and uh, I found these little little lights. They got like a little. They all connect to each other, so I just double-sided stickied those and uh, stuck them on here. But uh, you could already tell that these cabinets are going to be kind of dirty, um, you know, just with kind of the amount of dust and you know touching stuff and scratching them and all that other stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty stoked on uh, on how they look. It uh, definitely cleans up this whole area. I, I think I would like to get more cabinets like this because I'm definitely not going to be able to put that much paint in there. So I think I almost would need like two of the 48 inch ones to actually put paint in um, just to get this, you know, basically just get everything kind of behind like a closed door, which would be nice. But uh, yeah, I still have some other random crap, some more paint that was in the bottom of that, uh, that thing. But uh, I did get that cabinet all cleared out. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. And then basically these guys are going to go over there, but that'll be uh, that'll be kind of separate. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this uh, this random little video. I guess it wasn't really random. It was, it was semi-specific. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not working on the, the this Super this December. Uh, just kind of taking it, you know, a little bit easy and messing with some other stuff. But uh, still still figuring out some things on here. But uh, again, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll catch you probably in a, in a day or so.